So they've given us a graph and they're saying that's the graph of f of x. And we want to sketch the graph of y equals negative 1 quarter f of x. So this is in function notation. And if we're moving from left to right, the first number that we run into is the negative 1 quarter. To ask ourselves, does that affect the y or does that affect the x? It's going to affect our y. And whatever affects our y is exactly how it seems. So we're going to multiply our y values by negative 1 quarter. Now when we do that to this graph, we're going to pick some key points. On this graph, this point is going to be important, 0 comma 0. And we're going to change that. And the only thing that needs to be changed, well, right above here, that we're going to multiply our y value by negative 1 quarter. So when we do that, 0 times negative 1 quarter is still 0. So this point doesn't change. Now, you might recognize that this graph is an absolute value graph. And if you know your absolute value graph, you know you had 0, 0, it has 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, negative 1, 1, negative 2, 2. It has a bunch of different points. You can choose any one of those points for another one to help us see the graph. But we already know that we need to multiply our y coordinates by negative 1 quarter. So if I was choosing between 3, comma 3 and 4, comma 4, which one's going to give me nicer results? 4 comma 4, I won't have any fractions when I multiply by a quarter. It's not wrong to use 3 comma 3, but then you're going to have to graph some fractions and just is going to be a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to choose 4 comma 4, and when I multiply y by a negative quarter, I'm going to get 4 negative 1. If I chose a point on the other side, I'd probably choose negative 4 comma 4. That'll give me negative 4, negative 1. Careful on this graph, OK? If you already labeled negative 4 comma 1, did you do it right here? Isn't that tempting? Because you just went down one unit. But if you look at the scale on here, can you see that it's going by twos? So negative 4, negative 1, and, and 4, negative 1 are actually right there. And this is our graph. I point that out because I know that the computer program that makes some of the graphs for your quizzes and tests sometimes does that with the scale. And then you, have, then you lose a half a mark for not paying attention to the, to the scale on there. State the domain and range of each function. So for our red graph, the domain is everything. The range is y is bigger than or equal to 0. And for our blue graph, the domain is still everything but now our range is less than or equal to 0. Another thing to note, this was in function notation. They could have given you the same question by writing the explicit equation, because that's what it is. Negative 1 quarter absolute value of x. And because the absolute value of x is a graph that you know, they wouldn't have needed to given you, give you the graph to begin with. They would say, I know you know what that looks like. Can you graph this one now? And you would take that, you draw your original graph, then do exactly the same thing that we did and multiply all your y coordinates by negative 1 quarter. OK, question number three is one you can do for this. We are going to do the next example together.